This has been a weekend of pageantry and high drama in North Korea. The country's leader, 68-year-old Kim Jong-il, who suffered a stroke two years ago, watched what a spokesman called the largest parade in the nation's history. Alongside him was his son, Kim Jong-un. That seemed to confirm what's been hinted at here recently, that one day, Kim Jong-un will succeed his father, Kim Jong-il, who succeeded his father, Kim Il-sung, the nation's founder. North Korean expert, Marcus Nolan. Uh, Kim Jong-il is in poor health, and he is attempting to engineer what will be the first uh, third-generation dynastic succession in a communist country. On this Sunday morning here in Pyongyang, perhaps what's most striking is that we're here at all, this close. The North Korean government clearly wants maximum worldwide exposure while it flexes its military muscle. The reclusive North Korean regime invited foreign reporters here to see Kim Jong-un take the public stage for the first time. Little is known about him. He's in his late 20s, he was educated in Switzerland, and was recently promoted to the rank of general in a military that's conducted two tests of nuclear weapons. The father and son's appearance today followed another last night at the mass games. Despite the emotions they elicited there, experts say the ruling family's popularity is eroding amid wrenching economic distress. Kim Jong-il has less respect than his father Kim Il-sung did, and Kim Jong-un has, uh, has basically none at all. This morning, Kim Jong-il looked frail and walked slowly, though he's now made it clear who he wants to follow in his footsteps. For Sunday morning, this is Jim Axelrod in Pyongyang, North Korea.